welcome. My name is Monica Poe. I'm the marketing manager here at Wevix. I'm excited to have you join me for the second episode of our new video series, The Thread. If you haven't had a chance to see the first episode, be sure and go back and watch it for a deep dive into what is the definition of Wevix. During this episode, we're going to go into what is the Internet of Workers, or IOW for short. Here with me today is our Chief Operating Officer, Blake Carlson. Blake has been with the Wevix team since 2020 and is an experienced technology executive who works daily to drive operational excellence across everything we do here at Wevix. Last week, I was able to catch up with our CEO, Kevin, on about what Wevix is, but we really didn't get a chance to explore the Internet of Workers as a new emerging category. So I'm looking forward to talking to Blake about this today. Hey, Blake, it's great to see you. Likewise, thanks, Monica. Well, I am excited to go into the Internet of Workers. So we call Wevix the Internet of Workers platform, but what is the Internet of Workers and how does it play in the IoT realm? Yeah, I think it's a really good question. I think um, should probably spend a little time talking about you know, kind of what's happened with technology in the last decade. Um, you know, as we all know, right around 2010 to 2012, right, the concept of IoT or Internet of Things really started to take off. And at that time, I was an executive at Emerson Electric, and we were fascinated by the, you know, the drop in cost of compute, the drop in cost of um, storage, um, and the ability to put compute at the edge right, with low cost communications. Um, and so IoT really became a thing, <laughs> literally, um, by about 2014, 2015, right? Lots of big companies started investing in build your own IoT stacks or IoT platforms um, and deploying them to, you know, really get good data, good monitoring data from the market. Um, what I found that was really intriguing about it, though, is that, that the worker has actually felt threatened by IoT. Um, they felt that IoT was going to automate them out of a job. Um, in my last IoT startup, uh, we had several accounts where management was bought in on the IoT monitoring stack, um, but the field worker was not, and the field worker actually destroyed the product. And, and my favorite phrase from that destruction was, uh, it spontaneously combusted. Um, and so we, we learned pretty quickly that, you know, IoT is going to have a really tough road to hoe um, because workers are threatened by it um, and they're not viewing it as opportunistic or enabling for their careers. Um, so the concept of IOW is really let's move this, you know, kind of pivot this thinking 90 degrees and focus on the worker and the enabling of the technology to make that worker better, more efficient, right? And in a sense, my favorite phrase, upskill the worker right, into doing a better job. Um, so the concept of IOW was, let's think about the worker first when we're building our platform, uh, so that when we put tools in their hands, right, they're enabled, right, not necessarily, uh, you know, concerned that we're trying to, uh, you know, get rid of their jobs. So how do you see IOW kind of expanding in the future? You know, it, it starts with, you know, putting technology, putting really low cost compute, right, on an individual to allow them to do better things. So our, our first thinking here at Wevix was, what a better way to do IoT than to get into the collaboration business, um, to allow frontline workers to have, you know, seamless communication, right, not just audio through a legacy radio, um, but text messaging, right, push to text, push to talk, even push to video allow for video sessions, um, and then more importantly, be able to archive all of that data, analyze it, right, to make not only an individual better, but a team, contractor firm, a union, or even a corporation, um, so that you can optimize, right, you know, that worker in, in what they do in a day-to-day -day model. Um, so phase one has really been about how do we get collaboration to become more digital? Phase two then becomes how do you now take advantage of these wonderful databases uh, that you can now really you know, build optimization against? Um, and I think if I were to look you know, long term at what we can do with IOW, um, you really have an opportunity to create a next generation enterprise resource planning system or ERP, right? Which as we've seen in the last 20, 30 years, um, originally was meant to optimize an enterprise, but has been more deployed as a finance tool, 
uh, for financial management. Um, so, so an opportunity exists to, to build a, you know, not only an IOW platform that makes the front line even more engaged, right, integrated with IoT, um, but also optimized, right, tied to this kind of ERP database. Wow, Blake, that's a lot of great information. Um, you know, I can't wait to see how IOW is going to transform industry and move a market forward. Uh, I do have to wrap up this conversation. It was really great uh, chatting with you. But if you want to hear more from Blake, you can connect with him on LinkedIn. Webix is also on LinkedIn, as well as Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook. You can find all of our social media channels in the video description. Be sure to subscribe on all platforms you're on as we share a variety of content across each of them. For now, I have to say goodbye, but be sure to click that subscribe button so you can be alerted when the next episode of The Thread airs. Thanks. Thank you.